Welcome back. This is episode 45 of Let's Play Inquisition. So first, I think I'm going to switch that ring over to uh, Dorian. Just because I'm not liking the fact that they're chasing me when I'm in... Or they're not chasing me when I'm in stealth. Um, Alright, it is a really good ring, though. I hit level 20. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, if it, if it worked correctly and you could... Uh, and it only worked during combat, that'd be fine. But the fact that I stay in stealth after that, even when I'm not in combat, that kind of messes it up. So let's get rid of that. And Dorian, give me my ring back, please. You can have the ring of doubt. And I will have the... Fire mine ring, which makes sense because I use fire mines. Alright. We also have some level ups to take care of. So let's do that. Um, two handed weapons, maybe? Maybe not. What's over here? It's in Reaver. Um, that only affects him. Critical strikes make enemies flee. That could be useful. Devour restores health. That could be nice, too. this dragon rage it sounds like a really fun tree for a warrior build but it kind of sucks that I'm trying to divide my points between offense and defense because I'm doing both with him maximum guard bonus that could be useful actually this could be good for him though the harder you fight and the tougher you get he just has so many abilities kind of want to put some points into passes for now. Yeah, let's go with this. And Sarah... She's a Tempest. We'll look more into that later. Actually, she has most of the archery abilities, doesn't she? Um... Alright, let's look into Tempest then. Flask of Frost. Flask of Fire. Huh. Abilities cost no stamina. Or increases damage resistance. I think I'd rather have no stamina. Oops. And then Dorian. I want to start giving him some necromancy points because that sounded really cool. He like absorbs energy from uh, people around him. He's he can get reanimated if he dies for a little bit. And then you have walking bomb and virulent walking bomb, which have been staples of the Dragon Age games. And spirit mark puts a spirit on. A target which attacks them and uh, if they die then the spirit inhabits the victim's body which is pretty cool so we'll head to those eventually and i'm saving my points for when i eventually get my specialization once i find these stupid venatori tomes or whatever they are all right so quick travel back to well okay we were gonna do this first weren't we i also should have his taunts in the right place I think that's what it was, something like that. I don't know. Down to three potions, but I should be safe enough to use one. Alright, so let's head and find this golden hala for the Dalish. Help get our prestige with them a little bit higher. Might as well. Since we are on some wide open plains. I see a regular holla. If I get to hurt him, is it this guy? He doesn't really seem golden. His legs are a little golden, I guess. 
Yeah, that must be him, yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. You have to like use your mount to hurt him to the Dalish, I guess. I'm stuck though. I found him, he's over there. I think he's that guy. This way. It's a cool idea for a quest, as long as it actually works. Which it seems to be. As long as you're near him, he moves in the direction of camp. Definitely good to be on a mount for this quest. Hey, no! What are you doing? Where are the... Oh, they're over that way, aren't they? I guess the Hollow knows better than I do. It did come from there, after all. Well, actually, no, I don't think it did. I think it's just been wandering around. Giddy up. Where'd he go? Over there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Getting farther away. Hey, don't stop. No, what are you doing? Not in there. No. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hurt you. Hopefully I didn't hurt it too bad. So I should be riding a hala and not a horse. Like some shem. Hopefully they don't complain because it's injured. <laughs> I got trampled by a horse. Alright, good enough. Good boy. That'd be cool if you got like a hollow mount for helping them. Look. Already she makes herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Thank you, Methala. I will never be able to express my gratitude. Is that her? She's not as golden as I thought she would be. Yeah, I'm not really sure where she went. There's a merchant over here. Didn't realize that. Um, uh, okay, staff, I guess. Lots of staves. Pricey, though. Ooh. I like that. Robes of the High Keeper. Elf train only mage robes. See, so mine are pretty good, but they're only level 11. That one's level 19. Plus 8 magic, extra focus for each... Ooh. For each enemy within 8 meters. Does that mean... I guess whenever you kill an enemy, for each other enemy around, you get more focus. Oh. Alright. And that was how much? 14,000. I need to be level 16 anyway, so a few more levels, but I'll have to remember this is here, because that's a pretty good set of armor. Maybe they'll give me a discount if I uh, help them enough. Superior, Staff Blade, I'd rather make my own. Blank Runestone, but it's the same prices as the others. Ooh. Tier 2 Staff Schematic. Witch Staff, though, I don't know if I want a Witch Staff. Try that. Tier 2 Staff Blade. I don't know what the difference between these are. Just the slot they have, I guess. Dagger. Shield. Oh, I don't know if I want that or not. Is tier 2... I may have that level tier 2. I'll get it for now. Always use it for a companion, I guess. Warden Battle Mage Armor. I think I... Have that one, didn't? Isn't that what I used to wear? Something like that. T2 
tier two. That could be good. We're in battle mage armor. Let's take a look at my gear. Yeah, Word and Battle Mage armor is what I already have. Okay, this is just the crafted version. And it, it looks kind of cool, but I do like my Elven robes better because they're Elven. Uh, I could probably sell some stuff though while I'm here, just real quick. Do I have that? I guess I do. But I have to be level 15 for it, okay. Actually, I think I've had that for a while, actually. What if I got that from Fiona for helping her? Because it is. It seems like it at least. I don't have too much to sell. I can probably sell these, I never end up using them. And level 11, yeah, I'll keep it for now. Alright, looking pretty good. So, now that, that quest is done, let's uh, fast travel to... Back to our camp. What are the shards? Yeah. Traveling, da da da. Alright, back here once again. But this time we're gonna head to the north. Well, I guess I'll make this Magnet quest for now. And grab some of those in the way. Lay rest the western ramparts. Someone to lose. Okay, that's that guy. Oh, Vivienne uh, wants that thing there. Cassandra. Okay, so let's uh, change up our party a bit then, because it looks like Vivian and Cassandra want to be here. So... Vivian, let's take Varric. We haven't used him in a while. I miss Varric. I, I kind of like my original party members better than these new guys. At least in most cases. And Cole is interesting. Iron Bull I like. Vivian's alright. Sarah I really don't like. I don't know why. Just not the biggest fan. Dorian's okay. Blackwell's okay, but I don't know, kind of... I like Solus a lot, I like Varric a lot. And Cassandra's kind of grown on me. Confirm. And they can do some level ups now, sweet. Let's do that then. Give her some Night Enchanter stuff. She already has it all, doesn't she? Okay, well. Guess not then. So let's give her some better barriers, make her very defensive. Eric, he has learned the specialization Artificer, handling deadly traps and convoluted devices. Okay, sure, sounds fun. And we did Vivian. That's me. Cassandra is a Templar, of course. Uh, spell purge. I already kind of have a dispel effect from my mage. That could be good. Bonus against pretty much everybody, but especially demons. Alright. Kind of annoyed that we have yet to see any Venatori. I'm, I'm worried that maybe they only come out after you advance the main quest a little more, but we have fought Venatori, so... I don't know, we'll have to, uh... We'll have to keep exploring this area a little bit, and if uh, we don't see any... Then, I don't know, we'll figure out something. Might have to reload the area and hope they spawn next time, or I might go and do the next part of the main quest, just in case. Which I'm looking forward to doing anyway, because we'll get to go to the Winter Palace, meet Empress Selene, and presumably an old friend from Origins as well. Although, except Liliana, nobody here knows her. Who are you? Oh, that's a corpse. 
I do like how they have characters from the first two games in this game, though. That's a big barrier. Is that an arcane warrior, an arcane horror making that, or is he being entrapped there? Can't tell at this angle. It looks like he's outside of it. We have to face him? I'm up for it. Let's do it. It's a big one, too. they are, the harder they fall. So that's a fire barrier, so we need cold spells. Do we have any cold spells? Can I just dispel it? See, but strangely enough, my fire magic seems to actually be affecting it. Not sure that's working correctly, but okay. Oh, I see. So the arcane horror is using those corpses to make his little army here by cleansing those areas by burning them. We can give them a proper funeral and ensure they don't become corpses. Corpse brain, yummy. We used to collect those back in Redcliffe. In the first game, Corpse Skulls. Something over there on the right, too. Oh, another burial site. Another arcane horror. Corpses around here. Or where that came from, too. Quite a battle going on up there, isn't there? Not sure what this will do, but let's do it. That was loud. Oh. I guess we summon back the Chevaliers. Alright. I haven't... I think I still have one of the things to do though, right? Yeah, I still have one more thing to do. Don't celebrate yet. Cleaning up takes longer than anything else. I guess you blow the horn when you're ready for them to come in and to stop farming corpses. Protection of the Inquisition. Alright, we'll head over here first. I see a landmark up ahead. More corpses. Oh, that was really good. Double fire attacks. 
wonder how much my rotation is going to change as I pick up new abilities from my specialization. Should be slow and steady. Okay, we've been in there, I remember. Or something like it, at least. Yeah, we read that book already. Oh, they're just too far away from it. why there's a quest marker there. There's no like cage around here. Did I blow the horn too soon? Should I have killed something here first? But I mean there's gotta be a way to complete the quest otherwise it wouldn't still be in my inventory. So who am I laying to rest? Oh that thing up there? Is that a flag? I'm stuck in a tree. That's a flag. I see somebody fighting up there. Or training, maybe. <laughs> Return to Corporal Rosslyn. I did that. I didn't say anything. surrounded by undead and locked down well can I help what happened here it started when those free men showed up strange lights like blue fire I'm pretty sure you said that already it must be magic but the free men are just yeah you did from the armies how could they have managed this and why I should be going enter for it okay whatever Head over here next. See if we can find that one guy. The keeper does have a first and a second in some cases. Why can't he just be the second? Or are they waiting until he has a little more experience and they might make him a second? That could be it. Is that him over there? Or is it just in the area? In the area. Hopefully, nothing bad happened to him. Uh oh, is that him? Looks like it is. Was he trying to summon a demon? Could be. Well, at least we have his possessions. Uh, we'll head back down there later, though. anything up here? Like how far north can we go before it dead ends? Something interesting over here. This area is definitely heavily fortified. Corpses are quickly becoming my speciality as a fire mage. Whoops.
These things are everywhere, aren't they? Double up on that, I think. Oh, so close. Not that one. What oh, arcane horror? Am I to understand, Varric, that you knew the apostate who destroyed Kirkwall's chantry? Unfortunately, yes. What could he possibly have hoped to accomplish with such madness? Exactly what he got. A whole lot of innocent people killing each other. I take it he's no longer on your Winter's End gift list. Depends. No longer on anybody's. Does a flaming sack of Brondo dung count as a gift? Only if you tie it with a silk ribbon, my dear. See, Anders in this playthrough is actually dead. He, uh... I wonder if... I'm, I'm sure he appears somewhere in this game. If you don't kill him. I'm kind of curious where, but at the time it seemed, uh, there we go. It seemed appropriate that my character would finish him off of what he did, so that's what we did. So it says we can get a quest here, but I, it doesn't seem like it because there's nothing actually here. Seems like we're doing this quest before picking it up. Oddly enough. Can't go there. We're not getting a lot of experience from these guys, unfortunately. Five and ten points, it looks like. It's more if we turn in their stuff to the research table, but still. It really should be like six and eleven, because I do have that small DPS increase from kills. much that's really benefited me, I'm not really sure, but hopefully s somewhat so it wasn't just wasted. What are you guys fighting? Terror? It's 
while we're here, we can do this quest, even though we don't actually have the quest. Now we have the quest. Another fort reclaimed. Although that's something different. What's up there? This definitely reminds me of the Centaur camps in Guild Wars 2. If you've played that game or seen somebody playing that game, then you're probably thinking the same thing. All the trenches and fortifications and all. Alright. Another fortress under our control. I feel like something is bugged with these exclamation marks. Or the trebuchets, is that what they are? Or is it under me? Confused. Yeah, I don't know. This does definitely feels like very medieval though, I like it. Medieval fronts. Alright. Well, until we actually get that quest, if we can even get that quest, then we're just going to ignore that for now. Barely made that. More Freeman. Always hope it's going to be Venatori, and it never is. camp too. Let's do that first. We're not too low on potions, but it'll be good to set up another camp in case something happens. Eleven out of twenty one. So this is still a pretty big region. Almost as big as the hinterlands. Claim it. Claim it. Come on. You're right on... Oh, because I'm in combat. Even though I'm not really in combat. Hey, get away from that holla. It takes a lot to draw aggro when they're chasing something. They're determined. do this now. Still in combat. Come on. See, it annoys me when enemies run away from you and keep you in combat. They're running away. They broke combat with you. It's not my fault they can run faster than me. Still no? Thank you. That was annoying. Alright. Actually, at this point, we're kind of closer to here, so let's head that way. And then we'll swing up north again after that. Oh, are you guys okay? I scared those big bad wolves away. Should be safe for now. Not a lot of elf fruit in these parts. 
Ah, cara, isso não é que When these fortifications were in use, they used to hang deserters and traitors up there. More bloodstone. Arculorum up there, if I can get up there. Chasing that. Good. Freeman messages. Apparently, being a Freeman doesn't pay too well. Hey, we found it. Didn't even get any approval for that. Okay, whatever. Got some influence at least. Oh, there's loot up there. Oh, I see. You have to go up there. Since we're going for that ocularum anyway. Places they need to make camp, I guess. more shards all over the place by the looks of it uh, let's get this one first we'll kind of circle around I guess now how do we get down to that one place where that loot was is all the way down there below me can't really see Better be good. Uh, not really. Hollow leather. Don't really want hollow leather, but since it's already dead, I guess no use wasting it. More food. Than
Well, I guess something killed a Hala. Probably a wolf or one of the freemen. Jump, there we go. It's telling how quickly even the most peaceful area can descend into chaos. Our bloodstone? A shard around there somewhere. I think I see it. Excuse me, Varric. So drive him back. All right, um, so let's head to the camp next. Watch out for splinters. So don't die, fight back. A lot of pessimists over here. A lot of wolves as well. through this little pass this time. More corpses. We're slowly making it towards our next level, but we haven't actually spent the last one yet. You can definitely notice how the uh, level progression is slowing down as the game goes on. Which is what most games do, so it's not a big deal. Old tower or something up there? Another fort, I guess. We'll head there in a little bit. More Freeman. Oh, there's something special around here too. Something here. 
Let's look around. Hold your horses, Barry. Inside there, I suppose. All right, time to make camp. A decent enough place to camp, I suppose. You suppose. All right, and here we are. So, Inquisitor. now that we've made it here safe and sound, I think we're going to end the episode. I'm going to take a short break, but when I come back, we'll uh, continue exploring. not really sure how much of this land we have yet to go. I guess it kind of goes up like that. Hopefully, we'll find some minotauri up here, and if not, we'll have to uh, look for them elsewhere, I suppose. But... Thank you guys for watching, and I will be right back.